Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's trading session, the 31st of October 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, looking at the uh, Asian markets overnight, uh, following on from the US markets again. The, the US market certainly came under pressure after, obviously, number one, Mueller's investigation. Uh, Mr. Manafort obviously has been arrested, indicted, and the rest of Trump's family is now next. They're all colluding with the Russians. I think we already know that. And to be honest with you, I think every government is colluding with another government, and each government is trying to interfere the other government. And I think that's just, uh, the status quo now. Um, uh, obviously, it's all about um, the, uh, uh, the sacrificial lamb. And uh, it certainly looks like Trump and his family are going to be that. Anyway, uh, that's the uh, status quo. That's negative for the markets. Why? Because the only thing that we care about is tax cuts. And that's the only thing that's already been stimulating this market. Now, we also got news with regards to tax cuts yesterday being phased in. Now, again, that's something new. OK, so um, certainly a trick up uh, the sleeve there of Mr. Trump. So, again, that's risk negative. Everybody expected the tax cuts to be immediate. OK. So again, the market needs to reprice that. So number one, the market needs to reprice risk in terms of Mueller's investigation and how many people uh, will be in the docker, okay? Uh, and number two, obviously tax cuts being phased in. Now, what else is different, okay? What else is new? What else do we not have? And again, there were comments regarding yesterday saying that there are a lot of sharp knives in this tax reform package. So again, this will be interesting, okay? So again, market needs to reprice that risk, okay? Uh, we've had Chinese uh, bonds tumble or Chinese... Uh, concerns with regards to deleveraging that happened Monday markets ignored that uh, and then obviously today we've had uh, the uh, weaker uh, PMI numbers out of China overnight as well and that's what certainly is risk and negative so again ch concerns over Chinese growth slowing down uh, and that certainly is being interpreted especially with the uh, the actual market itself is being interpreted being risk and negative in terms of European markets this morning we've had uh, CPI data out of uh, France come out stronger than expected uh, you, French GDP came more or less in line uh, we had uh, PPI data as well, France coming stronger, so again, higher inflation. Uh, although uh, uh, CPI data out of uh, Italy certainly came in weaker, but I think we all know that's the weakest link there. Uh, GDP numbers out of Europe came in stronger at 0.6%, okay, which is really good. That's uh, month on month. Uh, and unemployment numbers certainly dropped as well, so again, that certainly is strong. Although <clears throat> in the Eurozone as a whole, inflation certainly still remains subdued, and that certainly explains why Mr. Draghi is continuing with his QE and, and maintaining that dovish stance, even though they've cut QE high in half. Okay, so rest of the day, Red Book, Chicago, PMI, nothing really major. I think the focus really will be on uh, the uh, situation with regards to Trump and his family, okay, being arrested and uh, certainly being caught for the crimes that they've more than likely committed, okay. Either way, <coughs> it's a family business, okay. It'll be interesting to see what happens with regards to Trump. He's right, dimwit. Okay, so uh, certainly comical. It's not exactly a government, is it? It's just a family running a, a running the show at the moment. So, again, it certainly is comical. Anyway, let's back, back to market. Let's see where the... Uh, uh, the actual uh, technical picture lies. Okay, let's start off with the German DAX here. Okay, German DAX still struggling to get past that key of resistance at 13,250. So bear that in mind. Having said that, we do have that unfilled gap below. Certainly would look look to uh, target that uh, again on the German DAX. 60 minute chart. We've uh, obviously made higher highs and higher lows. Again, like I said, that gap is um, certainly very tempting in terms of uh, targeting it for a close. Okay, and I'm certainly targeting that gap as well. 10 minute chart at the moment uh, again like i said it certainly is sluggish hasn't broken to high highs daily chart making it doji okay weekly chart certainly off the richter scale as you can see here broken out higher in terms of the french cac the french cac really is one that certainly has surprised me the strength of the french cac has been phenomenal okay especially with that um, uh, young uh, lad who's a bit of an amateur uh, really in charge and he certainly has turned it around so impressive to say the least or is it just the ecb either way uh, whether or not he can follow up and uh, obviously uh, implement those labor reforms that are going to uh, help the economy certainly skeptical from my perspective although the numbers certainly have come in stronger <clears throat> this morning nevertheless still targeting that gap fill below on the back of obviously tax cuts being phased in so it certainly isn't as bullish as we expected and again we don't know what else is up his sleeve okay so again could be a lot of other obstacles in the way 10 minute chart again still making a lower high looking for a lower low now targeting this gap fill below at 5450 that would be my ideal target but again i've been wrong as well last week i was wrong this week i was wrong although i did end up positive uh, certainly been wrong on, on the short side especially when you get short sell this FTSE trade i certainly played out very well i shorted the FTSE around the 75 
137514 level. Uh, called my shorts here. Lucky targeting gap filled below. Uh, again, that was a good trade. Okay, FTSE certainly plummeted. Took out tw plus 22 points there. Uh, again, for now, gap fill is support at 7490. You have support below at 7480. And then obviously resistance, we already know at 7517. Okay, so that's the status quo with regards to the FTSE. Already just trading sideways by the look of things. Uh, again, it is a lower high though on the 60 minute chart. That's one of the reasons why I shorted the actual equity. You're looking at 75% retracement. And the daily chart is an inside bar. So you are looking at a bear flag scenario there. Okay, that's your status, status quo with regards to that. Euro stocks, let's quickly go through Euro stocks, give you the uh, insight here. Again, this is an index that I'm short and I'm actually uh, suffering right now on my short positions. I uh, took out a short around the 355 zone. 3655, 3650 zone, stop losses are just above the high. So it's around 3680. Let me just clarify my stop loss in the Euro stocks. Uh, 3636, 3684. So I entered around 3654. So again, certainly in pain here as this index continues to rip higher. My target was looking for the gap below at 3630, then obviously potentially even lower back down to 3625. Been very impressive. It certainly is hooked on that QE or what Mr. Draghi has told it. Okay, uh, European equities certainly playing catch up to US equities by the look of things. Okay, so again, let's just take the below. So again, 3665 potential support and then potential support at 3645. And then ultimately looking for gap fill at C3635. So has been very impressive on the Euro stocks, as you can see here, to test that resistance. I did expect that topping tail to hold, hence the reason why I shorted the Euro stocks. Certainly has been negated thus far. Okay, certainly has been negated thus far. Weekly chart at the moment, again, you're into horizontal resistance here, looking for a double top and looking for a reversal. So, bias certainly remains bearish here, folks. Okay, so this is the status quo on the euro stocks. Okay, I think that's a good summation, really, of European equities. Again, my expectation is that we are certainly overshot the uh, mark on the upside and now looking for a retracement. Any retracement will be a buying opportunity, though, given the fact that Mr. Draghi has uh, stated his uh, QE certainly is being extended, and that's all the markets care about. It's all about that Kool-Aid, folks. All about that Kool-Aid. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and certainly take advantage of the uh, uh, the app and the, uh, the actual bonus at cfds.com. Goodbye now.